Hi, I'm Les Moreland. I'm the current commander, AMVETS Post 2006 here in Leesburg, Florida. And we're proud sponsor of Central Florida Salute on the YouTube channel. Uh, I'd like to have you check us out on our Facebook page or whatever. Our address is 500 North Canal Street in Leesburg, Florida. Uh, to all you veterans out there, come by and see us. We salute you for your service and thank you very much. Central Florida Salute YouTube. I'm your host, Bob Peters, and I have two lovely ladies with me today for a very special episode of Salute. My good friend, Marie, who is from the Villagers for Veterans, and uh, Lou Ann Hunt, who we just met. She is a very talented singer, and uh, this is about an event, and where is this event gonna be, Marie? So this event is gonna be held at the North Lake Presbyterian Church in Lady Lake. Uh, Florida and um, we are super excited to have such amazing talent on our team. Yeah, we not only her, we have another one we'll be talking about a little bit about that too, but that is, is going to be on the 29th, right? We, we 30th. Have, the 30th. Yeah. We got to get the date out and the time. Yes. Okay, so the event is going to be on August 30th at 6 o'clock, North Lake Presbyterian, plenty of parking, plenty of spots for everybody to be comfortable at. Um, it should start promptly at six o'clock, but with, you know, every, it's the villages, so you know everyone's gonna be there early. So that's just the way it goes. <laughs> and it's called uh, For Love of Country, right? For Love of Country. And now I've got to put my cheaters on because I'm going to give a little information about our, our guest over there, our special guest. Sure. She's a very talented lady. She was singing a little bit before uh, we started this, and uh, well, I put my cheaters on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you, you've, uh, you're country and western, and you've been all over the, all around, really. You've had several number one hits. Uh, you can go find more, you know, I should have done this. You've released 21 studio albums. You have scored 19 number one hits, and is uh, the recipient of six American Songwriter Awards, three uh, CD of the Year Awards with National Traditional Country Music Association, and three World Songwriting Awards. You're also a two-time musical award nominee, and you were inducted into the Independent Superstars Hall of Fame in 2016. Whew. You know, uh, I, I heard you sing. You, you, you have a beautiful voice, my friend. Thank you. You know, uh, but this event is for raising money for Ashley's house. Yes. And uh, before we go to ask, I'm going to talk to her, but I want you to tell everybody, because there may be a couple people watching this that have not heard about Ashley's house, because okay. we've been promoting this for a year and a half. So Ashley's house is going to be the first uh, women veterans transition home in Lake County. It's actually going to be the third in the state of Florida, uh, none of which uh, are going to follow like Ashley. Ashley is going to be a long term, meaning anywhere from three months to a year time for these women to transition out of the military, either go back to school, get their credentials, or get their um, finances in order. But the whole idea is to give them a hand up and make sure that they succeed in whatever um, avenue they choose after service. So Ashley's house is uh, going to be situated in Eustace. Uh, to date, we have the property, we are in the permitting process, and we hope to have some good updates in the very, very near future. Um, we are working with Habitat for Humanity as our GC contractor, and uh, as you know, they have great experience in building homes. And um, right now, we are fundraising, 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 which is how this whole thing came about. And I, I have to tell you that um, 
Luann was at one of my events and her fiance came up to me and said, you know, Luann would like to work with you. And I was like, oh, that's really great. That's nice. You know, I had no idea who this talent was. And so um, I went home and I Googled her and I was like in awe. And so we met for lunch and um, I had said to her, I said, I've always wanted someone to write a song about women veterans because there's so little out there. And um, she's like, I can do that. And lo and behold, a couple of days later, she sent me, a, a, I guess, a preliminary draft it was, or a, a, demo, a demo, yeah. demo. demo. And I was like, wow. And then the rest is history. We started working, and she um, did some stuff, talked to my son, who's in the video business and he actually put a video together to go with the music a music video so um that's where we are we're hoping we're, we're that gonna, people we're gonna will show, love at that. the end of the show we're going to show the music video but i want to talk to luann a little bit about your career in music and where you where did you start and uh it has to be an honor to be doing this song i mean i i saw i saw you do this and i could tell how much you heart you put into it because it is a great cause but where, where is Lou Ann from? Well, I grew up in Pennsylvania, and I moved to California when I was 21 years old. I got married, married a sports writer, and it took me a while to get into the music because as a kid I always wanted to be a singer, but I was told that I didn't have any talent, so I was a little bit afraid to kind of delve in, but it's where my heart was. So eventually I got into doing that. and. I started singing at county fairs and retirement homes and all kinds of little venues. And that led to me teaching music and I was able to actually build this incredible talent network. I had, I don't even know how many students that I had over the years that I taught stage performance and uh, how to sing and it grew bigger than I ever imagined that it would have. So anyway. In the midst of all this, my late husband began writing songs out of the blue. Uh, we didn't even know he could write, but he started writing songs. And then I started writing songs and began recording. And just one thing led to another. It just kept growing for me. So. Yeah, and did you go to a, a college and get a degree in music, or is it, uh, how did this all, come, you know? I did, I did spend a couple of years at community college and I took singing and piano and then I had vocal training by private instructors for a while. I did teach myself a lot though. It's actually when I was teaching my students I learned a lot about singing. <laughs> yeah. Tell me some of the people you worked with. I know you were telling me about a group you managed, uh, you helped anyway. Uh. Yeah, I, I managed the Royal Guardsmen who were from Ocala. From, I didn't know they were from Ocala. Yeah, they all grew up in Ocala, and in 2010, I had the opportunity to start working with them. They wanted to do some recording and some touring, and so I helped them do that, and I, I booked them in Vegas, which was kind of on their bucket list. So that was really fun, but I used to come back to Ocala quite often and do things with them, and that's how I knew about this area and the villages. and. I loved it, so to be here now, it's just kind of like a dream come true. Yeah, and, and uh, you've got several uh, other very talented people that are going to be on stage with you. You want to tell us a little bit more about who else is going to be there? Yeah, we have the Ambassador Swing Band from the Villages. It's a 14-piece band, and they're really, really phenomenal, and they're going to be playing some country music and they're also going to be playing a couple songs to back me. They're my original songs. So that to me is like an opportunity of a lifetime because I've never performed live with a swing band before. And then we have Scott Jackson who is the 2021 winner of the Will McLean songwriting contest and he's from Ocala. He is the most wonderful singer. He, he really sounds like James Taylor in many respects. And he's going to be doing a couple songs. And also, we're doing a tribute to 9 11. So he's going to be singing Alan Jackson's Where, Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, yeah, it's a wonderful song. And then we have the, probably one of the top Elvis tribute artists in the world, Ted Torres, coming. 
I've seen him. He's really good. Yeah, he's amazing. You know, I, I, I'm going to be the uh, an Elvis uh, interpreter. Uh, impression or two, you know. What, what, what would Elvis look like at 75? <laughs> That's me. Probably, yeah. Of course, I can't move that like that anymore. But anyway, yeah, he, he is uh, extremely talented. So this is quite the, the, the show you got coming on. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to have a variety show and do a lot of different things. Every song has a video behind it with like a little movie. And wow, yeah, You're doing it up right, right, Marie. Yeah, so I, I think it's going to be really a journey for the audience. And of course, I want to make sure that we highlight women veterans, and, and we're going to be showing the Brave American Girl video. And also, we have some artistic signers that are going to be performing along with the video. So, we're really excited about that. Yeah, you know, we do a lot on uh, Central Florida Salute YouTube, we do a lot. To highlight women veterans you know I've had several women veterans on my show and a lot of people don't realize in 2015 is when they said okay you're in combat they can do whatever they get in combat nowadays they never got the credit you know they were they were sneaking in in the Revolutionary War and all these other things and what they've done in World War two in Korea and what have you but nowadays they're they're just you know they're they're just like uh, the guys and but matter of fact uh, did you tell everybody about Ashley, who Ashley's house is named after, and so, why? So, first Lieutenant Ashley White um, was on um, a secret mission in Afghanistan where they would go in with a team and the women would uh, talk to the Afghan women because the Afghan women were not allowed to talk to the male. So. These uh, amazing uh, women uh, soldiers uh, were on a mission that couldn't even be shared with their family. So Ashley's mom had no idea that she was in this situation. And um, lo and behold, you know how things were happening over there. One of her teammates stepped on an IED uh, daisy chain. And so three out of the four uh, died that day. Um, in 2011. And so um, Ashley uh, was very special. I had learned about her when a book was written about her called Ashley's War. And I wanted this house to be something very special. And I wanted it to give uh, the honor and recognition to those women veterans that gave the ultimate sacrifice, as well as to give the women that make it there the incentive to know that you are here because they were there and they sacrificed. Um, and so you need to make sure that you take your life and you make them proud. And so um, when I reached out to um, Ashley's mom, she was thrilled to have us remember and honor Ashley. And so we're hoping that it's everything that we wanted to, you know, to be for this particular yeah. um, project. Hopefully the footprint for many more to come. Yeah, hopefully, because the, the, there are a lot of women coming out of the service now, as, as we used to say when I came out, so if you're going back to the real world, you know, and uh, it, it is a change. I mean, you come back and nothing's really the same. And uh, sometimes you they, you see too much that you need to help some help adjusting, and this is what this place is going to do. And uh, we have been there with you guys from the beginning. and. Uh, I've had the honor of uh, interviewing Ashley White, and uh, not uh, Ashley, her mom, mom. Uh, Debbie, yeah. and uh, several other lady veterans, and they're all on the YouTube channel. But uh, I can't wait for this thing to, to, to come to fruition. But uh, Especially since so many people told us that it wasn't going to happen. So they don't know you. <laughs> So we know that uh, this is super special. We know that it's super special for the many women veterans um, that had been in service all these years and for the families of those women that didn't come home. You know, it's honoring their um, sacrifice. It's honoring their service. And of course, it takes so many to do things like this. And we have amazing talent that has supported us to um, bring events where we can fundraise and also have uh, amazing support system within the communities, you know, of Central Florida. So we are thrilled to put this project 
finally to in a in a good place where we can now begin to build. Yeah, your song is beautiful, by the way, Thank and you. Uh, you must have a special feeling when you're singing it, no? Yeah. I, after my husband died, I had decided that I wanted to devote my life to philanthropy and giving back and using my gifts to help wherever I could. So I'm one of these people, I just sort of wait until I put the intention out there and then see what comes back. And so when I met Marie and she asked me to do the song, it just felt right. And and I went home that day and I wrote the song. It just came to me very quickly. And I felt the emotion of it so strongly. So yeah, it, it was a surprise for me to have the opportunity to do it, but then once I got into it, I, I really did tap into the plight of these women veterans and everything yeah. that they go through. This, so. is, this is going to be one terrific show. Where you outdone yourself. <laughs> well, you couldn't know. have done it without the talent that's oh, yeah, sitting gotta, to my left. You gotta have the talent. Uh, so it is going to be on the 30th. August 30th, at North Lake Presbyterian. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. And if they want tickets, where and how much? So they can purchase tickets at villagersforveterans.org. Um, all our veterans go for half price. Tickets are normally $20, but if you're a veteran, you get to go for $10. And we will be there to honor your service, your sacrifice, and show the world how much we value what you've done for this country. Very well put, very well put, and uh, I'm glad that you two ladies came on because you are both difference makers, and that's my kind of people, <laughs> people who are going to make a difference. But I think it's time to, unless you have something else you want to add to it, you got another, you got some more stuff coming up later. Oh, I know, but I always I, check I, out Villagers for Veterans. Veterans. You can find out, right? Yeah. Um, Please go to our website. We're always doing all types of fun events and anything to uh, raise a buck because every dollar is a good dollar. And uh, for those of you that don't know, we are 100% volunteer, 98% plus of every dollar we raise goes into our programs. So um, you'll know where your money's going. And this house is gonna be built in Eustis, Florida. The house is gonna be in Eustis, Florida, uh, right off 19. It, Great location, um, very central to Central Florida, and it's going to be um, a great place, a great place for these women to get a new start. And I, I salute you for that. And I think that pretty much wraps it up, unless you have something else you want to talk about. I, and uh, we're going to hear your, your song uh, on this show uh, about the... It's entitled, what was it, the title Brave again? American Girl. Brave American Girl, yes. yeah. I should have known that because I was listening to it before. <laughs> I love it. It's really good. And, uh, okay, well, I guess if you got anything else you want to say, you, you got any more future plans? You're going to be around here now, right? We're here to stay, and yeah. I'm really looking forward to doing more in the community, bringing in some more quality entertainment and some different things that people haven't seen. Yeah, so it, well, I, I happen to know of a couple of places where you could uh, appear, <laughs> well, you know, so, uh, but anyway, I think we're going to go, unless, like I say, unless you have anything else you want to say or do? No, I just urge everybody to buy tickets because this is a, a great opportunity to see amazing talent for a great cause. Uh, yes, absolutely. A wonderful cause and it's way overdue. Yes. But uh, time to say goodbye and ladies, join me. To all our veterans out there, our active military and their families, we salute you for all you do. Till next time.
Across the USA I've seen the back door And the dirty floor Of every place I've played Mama always worries And my friends think I'm insane All I need's my gear A couple of cheers And you won't hear me complain Grew up on Roy Rogers Watched him sing and rhyme Daddy bought my first guitar For me when I was five I learned the chords and all the words To every country song At night in bed I dreamed of fame But it never came along Now it's truck stops and honky tonks Across the I've seen the back door and the dirty floor of every place I've played. Mama always worries and my friends think I'm insane. All I need's my gear, a couple of cheers and you won't hear me complain.
to sell my soul in exchange for a claim. Now it's truck stops and honky tonks across the USA. I've seen the back door and the dirty floor of every place I've played. Mama always worries and my friends think I'm insane. All I need's my gear, a couple of cheers, and you won't hear me complain. Truck stops and honky tonks across the USA. I've seen the back door and the dirty floor of every place I've played. Mama always worries, and my friends think I'm insane. All I need's my gear, a couple of cheers, and you won't.